Ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So here what we have is in front of us is a pork carcass. As you can see, this is where we've actually come in and exposed that loin eye. We're again in between the 10th and 11th rib, right? So once, once we, I, I allow this for about 20 minute bloom time, once again, the bloom time is just to allow that oxygen to mix in with that myoglobin that's responsible for giving meat its red color. As you can see, pork carcasses aren't as red as beef, but there's still a amount of myoglobin here that helps, that will bloom enough, um, as you can see here with a pork carcass. Now, what we look for more is a, more of a reddish pink color, not cherry red like in beef, this is more of a reddish pink color. But the first thing that we have to ask ourselves, especially in pork carcasses, is, is this acceptable in quality? So what do I mean by quality? Well, the main thing that we're looking for is color. So on average, and again, you know, we still use a, our gold standard are using color and marbling quality standard cards provided by uh, Pork Checkoff at National Pork Board that gives us a range of colors, as you can see, using using numbers. And then in addition to that, we actually also have marbling standards in pork um, that we'll use as a reference guide. So when it actually comes to actual color, well, the one thing that we will look for is, that, is I will ask is, is this very acceptable in color? Again, is it more of a reddish pink color? And as you can see, this is exactly exactly what we're looking for. When, when do we know it's, it's not acceptable in quality? Well, when it actually looks more like this. This is what we would call more pale color. And this is often related to a quality defect known as pale, soft, and exudative. That means that that color is pale in color, the texture is soft to the touch, and it, this muscle is actually exudating water. Water is leaching out. And this is where sometimes we'll see a puddle of water here or maybe it even dripping down the carcass. So the big question is, is well, what causes PSC, Dr. Garcia? Well, good question. PSC is actually caused by uh, short-term stress. And I'm talking about more of the physiological stress and elevated body temperatures. It could be one or the other. It could be a combination. Um, show hogs are prevalent to PSC, but I can tell you today there was no PSC, so good job today with that, guys. So once I, once I deem this as acceptable, then I can just continue to move on. So once again, I want to make sure, I want to know how much percent sellable product we have in this pork carcass. This particular pork carcass weighs 201 pounds. So of the 201 pounds, I want to know how much of that is going to come from fat and how much from muscling. So once again, take my ruler. This is my, and, if, and in looking at this loin eye, this is my main area of interest. I do not worry about the spinalis dorsi. I don't worry about these little costarum muscles. This is the main muscle that we're looking for. Why? Because this is what you're looking for on, in that livestock arena when you're actually showing your hog guard, your market hogs. This is that main muscle that you look so much for in the live animal. So here we have this loin eye. With pork carcasses, I'm going to measure three quarters up that loin eye. So here's this loin eye here. This is my top part. I'll go up another half. And this is where I'm going to measure my back fat. Now, as you can see, these are skinned pork carcasses. In other words, the skin has been removed off these pork carcasses, and that's okay. All I have to do now is add a tenth to that back fat and record it. And why is that? Well, because our USDA formula that we use in hogs or in pork carcasses uh, includes the skin. It, it's intended to include the skin. So this isn't a problem. I, I'm able to identify that the skin's not on, and that's an easy fix. When it comes to the loin eye measurement, so here's what we have here is a loin eye dot grid that um, actually, you know, when compared to a beef carcass, is actually a bit a bit smaller. And so every 20 dots in this particular case equals one square inch. So as you can see, I have some outlines here. The inside box or rectangle um, rectangular box here has actually um, 40 dots. Well, divide that by 20, and now we have a square inch of two. Here we have actually 
uh, 60 dots in that middle portion, which gives me a square inch of three, and then we actually have a four square inch right along this side. So just like in beef, since I already know this measurement, I'm gonna go ahead and place this right in that loin eye. Do I get closer? Right in this loin eye, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and count all around it to make to account for that whole loin eye as a whole, and then add that to what we already know. So with that being said, once again, the name of the game with pork carcasses is really just to determine one, is it acceptable in quality? And two, um, how much sellable product do I actually have?